hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to uh, start a new series of videos about a new subject and uh, the name of the subject is neural network so neural network is a very vast subject in itself and uh, it is uh, it belongs it 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 does not belong to any one specific engineering branch it has some of its connections to computer science electronics electrical engineering so it is a mixture okay so it is quite helpful for all the engineering branches and it is a very vast subject in itself and uh, this is the first video where we'll be discussing about some of the basic introductory things about neural network and then slowly and steadily we will go to the more uh, intermediate and advanced topics okay so this first video is about uh, the introduction to neural network so the first thing which we will discuss is what is a neural network so a neural network basically is a processing system okay a way to process data and information which is given to it which is provided to it as per the requirement as per we demand as per we want okay so the main task of the neural network is to process data or information now this neural network it can either be in the form of a hardware device or a software algorithm or it can be a combination okay both now this neural network this concept okay this whole subject this is inspired by the design and functioning of human brain okay that's why the name itself suggests neural network the neural part it comes from neurons okay neurons are the basic structural and functional unit of human brain we know that uh, the human brain is composed of billions of neuron cells okay brain cells so this neural network it is inspired okay it 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 uh, it, it is based on the design and functioning of the human brain okay so the def the definition of a neural network how can we put it into a uh, in, in a in a series of sentences we can define it as uh, a huge distributed information processing system made up of simpler interconnected processing units and these processing units are called as neurons or nodes they are actually called as artificial neural network okay and the brain is a biological neural network okay the neural network which is designed is called as an artificial neural network so it is a huge distributed information processing system so the distributed processing it involves that it is not dependent on any central controlling unit okay so that is what distributed means then it processes data or information that's why it is called as information processing system and it is made up of simple neurons or nodes or artificial neurons which process data and a collection of those processing system makes up a neural network so as i said it tries to implement and replicate the most basic functions of the human brain okay so this is how a neural network basically looks like this is a very simple neural network the the neural networks that are actually implemented they are much 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 more complex and complicated in their design and functioning we'll discuss about that but here you just understand now these are the individual uh, nodes or neurons this uh, circular uh, portions which are named by x1 x2 x3 z1 z2 z3 y1 y2 y3 the inputs are provided to it 
each of these nodes or neurons are connected through communication links and then we get the output. We'll be discussing about these in separate videos, but just you understand this is how a neural network, a simple neural network basically is. Now, what are the objectives of a neural network? Why are neural networks used? I mean, why do we need uh, to create an artificial neural network? So, its objectives and its tasks are the same as uh, the work that is done by the human brain. The human brain, it observes, it learns, it, it thinks, it reasons, it draws up conclusions, it can general, generalize things and then it applies the acquired knowledge. So those are the same things that an artificial neural network does. So there are three main objectives of a neural network. First is learning, the first step. Okay, it is the learning process. You know, the same way that we learn a new thing, such as we learn a new language, we learn a new subject. Okay, so in order to in order to uh, do something, we have to learn the basics. We have to learn the things that are related, basics to intermediate things, then to from intermediate to advanced. So that is what a neural network does first. It learns the various things associated with a particular task. Then is generalization. Generalization basically means organization or self-organization of the data or information which is given to the neural network during the learning process. Okay, it is the organization of data. Next is application. It applies the data which it uh, acquires during the learning process. It organizes that data and then it applies it to solve real life problems or the tasks for which the neural network was designed. Okay, so these are the three main tasks or three main objectives of the neural network. First, to learn, to train itself according to the data or information which is fed to into the neural network, this processing system. Next is generalization or organization of the data. Next is the final is application which is the main task of the neural network to solve the problem use, using the data which is given to it. Okay. So the properties or the features of a neural network. So the first property of the neural network is adaptive learning. So adaptive learning basically means to learn how to do or accomplish the tasks which the neural network is designed for specifically according to the data which is given during the training period. The training process you know when we uh, we go for a, a new job okay the first few months or the first year it is uh, the training period where we are uh, made understand how to do things what are we supposed to do so during that period we adapt to the new environment the various things we learn how to do things so this is what a neural network also does. During the learning or training period, it acquires those, those skills okay, on how to accomplish a certain task based on the data or based on the information that is given to it. Next is self-organization. So basically this is the generalization part which we discussed here. So the self-organization is actually the property of the neural network to organize the data which is given to it according to various ways. For example, you can understand this in a following way. You know, in the library, there are many books, there are uh, millions of books in a big library, you can find thousands of books, millions of books in huge libraries. So how are those uh, books organized? 
okay sometimes the books are organized in terms of the alphabetical order or uh, sometimes they are organized uh, in terms of uh, to which genre the books belong whether it is educational whether it is uh, fiction whether it is uh, uh, it belongs to any particular uh, such as a thriller or romantic comedy whatever so it is organized on the basis of that or it can be organized in terms of their publication dates so there are various ways in which the organization can take place similarly in the same way the neural network can have its own criteria for organizing the data which is given to it so similar to the library it can choose its own criteria to arrange the data which is given to it to form clusters or groups of data according to whatever criteria that uh, the neural network finds uh, suitable for itself or according to the requirements of the particular job okay uh, so the next feature is uh, real time organization and operation so the neural networks uh, they have the ability to carry out the operations okay the computations whatever task it is supposed to do in real time through parallel operations okay as i said the neural networks they are distributed information processing systems it is not centralized all of the neurons they work simultaneously it is not that a particular set of neurons will work and the others will remain idle it's not like that although it may happen sometimes but most of the times parallel simultaneous operations they take place and real time computations and operations on the data which is given to the neural network it takes place so that is another important feature of the neural networks okay simultaneous operations or computations of data by the nodes or neurons in the network and uh, the uh, the other feature of neural network is fault tolerance okay in the neural network which is a group of neurons if one or two neurons or a group of neurons they get damaged because of any unforeseen circumstances then the entire neural network will not get shut down it is designed in that way so the this property fault tolerance of the neural network it allows the operations whatever uh, the tasks the neural network is supposed to do to 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 go on without being interrupted or affected by the damage cause to the specific neurons so this is the uh, property of fault tolerance the data or information is not lost okay this is because of the distributed architecture it is not centralized it is not dependent on a single control system you know it is not centralized control it is distributed control that's why the concept of fault tolerance is there in neural network any damage to a particular uh, few neurons or a group of neurons will not uh, cause uh, the whole network to shut down okay so why neural networks uh, are so important what are their use so neural networks are used in a lot of fields okay uh, and it is a very uh, it has a, it has a lot of scope and uh, in almost all the fields which is now is heavily dependent on uh, computerized control artificial intelligence and uh, a lot of things neural networks have a lot of demand so it is used in control systems in industrial instrumentation automation and control in signal processing in um, image voice and pattern recognition in in the medical field in biomedical instrumentation for diagnosis and medical imaging in database management data mining and processing uh, weather prediction and forecast traffic control business modeling econometric predictions a lot of things these are just a few things okay few applications there are there are many other applications of neural network 
So these are just to name a few. So the scope of neural networks is huge. Okay, it is, it is, it is, it can be used in any field. Okay, it is just how to figure out to figure out how to use the concept of neural networks for a particular field. It can be applied in any field. So the subject it is uh, very vast in itself. It has a lot of layers and layers of things associated with it, starting from beginners, intermediate to advanced, and we'll uh, try to cover those things. So this is just the first uh, video which is related to the introduction, basic introduction to neural networks. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation, communication engineering and other videos related to science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.